In this video, I'm going to be talking about the composite products for WooCommerce. Um, composite products are useful when you want to combine your existing products into one um, package. So that's why they call it composite products. So I've already installed composite products from WooCommerce. This is a premium plugin that you can purchase separately. And I've got the 3.7.1 installed at the moment and I'm running WooCommerce 3.0.9 as well. Okay, so let's get started. I'll show you now how you can add a composite product. So you can go at the top, new, and then product. So I will call this product grouped product. Um, you can call it whatever you like. You could call it um, a package. Um, depends on your industry. You could call it an outfit if you want to combine um, different clothing into one outfit like pants, accessories. Um, I think I'll keep it outfit um, just for this example. So WordPress already created a URL for me. I can edit that if I want to for my Google friendly name a bit because I don't like numbers in there and don't worry about that local host um, port 8080 it's just my I'm running it on my computer okay so we've got the outfit name so I'm just gonna scroll down so by default simple product is selected um, if you click on that you'll see a composite product available so once we click on that, it will give us more options on the left hand side. So if I have a regular price for this um, particular outfit, I can just call that. So I'll give it a regular price, $199. And then I move to components. So I've got different layout options. I'll keep it simple. I'll make it a stacked option. And I'll add a component. Here we go. So the first component I will have is a dress. And I can have a description for my, this is a nice dress. For this component and we'll search for products I have some products that I've already got here so I'm just gonna put um, two sample products there in that dress and I'll leave the option style as um, thumbnails Minimum quantity one, I don't want it shipped individually, I want it um, as a whole package or an outfit in this example. And I don't I don't want it priced individually as well. Um, if I tick this, it will it will get the price from each product. But if I don't tick it, it will get the price which we've set up. Um, previously. So I'll add this component. Here we go. Um, should I actually press save on that? The save con configuration. Here we go. So we've got the dress component there. We can have another one. Let's say we've got um, we want to add 
Um, um, let's go accessories. And I've got another product here. This is the, this is the exact same product, but um, it doesn't matter. Um, you can select a different product if you like. I'll have this as thumbnail as well, and we don't want it priced individually. We'll save configuration. Here we go. Okay, and if you want to have a flat rate shipping class, so I can select that as well. So we are ready to have a look at our product. So let's see what we have. And I'm gonna have some description here. Uh, maybe I won't. Let's see how the product looks like now. Okay, so I'll publish that. Let's just go in product. There we go. Uh, I think I'm gonna add an image. So we can see a little bit what's going on. So let's just add this image here. I'll update it again. View product. So as we can see, the outfit is published. We've got the pricing for the whole outfit. So this pricing doesn't change, um, it's already been set. Um, doesn't matter how many items here, um, the price is not gonna change. Um, so what we have here, so we've got dress option. So on the dress component, we've got two products. We get sample head and sample product and under accessories, we've got sample head as well. And on the left hand side, we can see the um, actual component image as well. We can have different options on the products. Um, we can click on it, select different colors. These are your variations. So your variations are not lost. Uh, and let's just click on the sample product and then click on so that and we can add to cart and here we go so we've got the whole component is 199 that's what we've set up and the price of the individual uh, products are set as zero dollars so if I go back to, I want to remove the sample head because it doesn't really belong there. Um, it belongs into accessories section. So I'm just going to go edit product, which takes me back to the outfit. And if I scroll down, go components and dress and sample head, I just remove that. and save configuration and if I update it and view the product you will see the sample image now and the sample head as well so I can add to cart again I can change the pricing so if I was to give individual pricing so I can come back here um, and you can go price individually and I'll go price individually as well in the sample product and update and then the product again there we go now we can see the prices so what it did um, so we got the pricing of the outfit, which was one ninety nine, and the sample product is ninety dollars. 
and the hat is two dollars so it pretty much um, summed it all up and it's all ready for us and the total is two and a half one at the moment so that's what the pricing individual gives you um, you can have a base uh, start and depending on what options are available you can either increase the price um, I think it's better to um, untick that option and give one the one pricing and you can even scan the pricing um, as you sell it as a package um, so you can still say I can remove it, remove it from my card so the whole whole outfit will be removed.